conceptually we had to think about a way of how we could kind of piece all these objectives together and then formulate them into a riddle and then give it to the player. Yeah, because X marks the spot really was kind of the simple case. You just looked in the island, you choose a spot to place it, you put an X, you give it to the player. It's nice yeah. and simple. To make it riddles is quite an interesting challenge. You need to have waypoints to navigate, some, some kind of landmark which people will be able to find, mark them up on the island in some way to be able to say, look, these are all places on the island that could be interesting to be used as part of this, this puzzle that we're making. And then ways to choose them to make sure they link together okay and we can describe them. And then we had the really great idea of making uh, um, it a bit more salty and making rhyming couplets yeah and it, it transformed it from feeling a bit more like a shopping list of things yeah. to do it felt to... very functional at yeah. first and then everyone expects a riddle to rhyme like yeah. that's intrinsic to like the, the quest but i think the really like intelligent step with trying to get the rhyming couplets in was making them individual lines so they could rhyme within them like the objective itself and then the, the next line didn't have to rhyme with the one prior yeah. to it and that's what allowed us to kind of do that. It suddenly felt like uh, a map from Goonies. Yeah, know, that, exactly. that kind of real proper piratey sort of map. Where yeah, it's, that, it's that expectation like of, of a group of friends going on an adventure together. It really kind of brought that home for me. We didn't want all of the steps to be immediately available to the crew because they could just skip straight to the yeah, end. Yeah, they'd just go straight to the and end. Then and then forgo all the challenge yeah. and just dig up the chest. So we looked at ways in which we could kind of conceal every step that wasn't unlocked for the players. But um, also give people an idea of how far through they are. When we first started out, we had like a CIA black bar. <laughs> Redacted <laughs> <laughs> black, bar, black bars over yeah, everything. It was which... literally just like a black felt tip pen yeah. gone over the steps. Um, but then we passed it to kind of the technical art team and they took a pass at it and came back with this awesome bleeding ink kind of mm, effect. Like swirl and reappearing. What that results in is you have the kind of current step that you're on completely legible and then everything else is kind of blurred. And then when the players do the correct thing, we then unveil the kind of next step and the ink kind of bleeds onto the page and reveals this, uh, the next step for the players. And pacing is quite an interesting thing in itself. We had to put a whole mechanic in for allowing you to help the player to take paces. Yeah, um, and when we were first prototyping that, we just had the player kind of full stick in a direction and then listen for the audio alone. Now the player kind of holds the right trigger to like raise the compass up and then they enter like a, a pacing mode. We slow the player's movement down so that it feels like they're pacing. We added a rumble in as well so that you can kind of feel, yeah, feel on very the very distinct steps every, of every one, step. two, and you can count, you can see the bob, you can feel the crunch of the sand under your feet with yeah. every single step. And it just made it so much easier to be able to say this is 10 exact paces and it tightened the whole mechanic up. What's really cool about the riddle system at the moment is that it's actually out there, players are playing it and we're already getting fantastic feedback. Yeah, it's really well received at E3 as well. Yeah, massively And that was only well kind of like a small component of yeah. the riddles, whereas now we're starting to build up all the kind of actions and stuff. We kind of have a set of items that the players have in their inventory and then we wanted to kind of use those items as part of the quests. In the kind of E3 trailer we show Cursed Boar Shrine and then they have to kind of raise that lantern and then as a result of raising the lantern, that kind of impacts the world and changes, changes the things that are the landmark in front of them. So it felt like not only were the items kind of progressing the riddle, but it also felt like you were kind of impacting the world as, yeah. as a result of that as well. As we expand upon the set of items that we use, it might introduce players to, to use items that they otherwise, you know, if they were only concentrating on, on getting their sword and hacking people and, and spades and things, you go, well, actually, you know, is the musical instrument. Maybe you've never even played the musical instrument yeah. before. And it, it allows people to start seeing new mechanics of the game and as it expands and more items get yeah. pulled into the system. So now that we've got the system in place, we can start adding more islands into the game and dressing them with really kind of interesting landmarks for players to discover. As new items get introduced into the game, we can uh, build those into the system. And depending on what the items get introduced, we can have more reactions from the landmarks and just anything we can come up with, really. Yes, yeah, so we can keep adding more and more variety and that's just going to make the riddle quest even better for players.